This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 232, How to Find Meaning in Tough Times, by Kent Thune with goodlifezen.com. And I am Dan, your personal narrator for today and every weekday here on Optimal Finance Daily. Uh, We take the best personal finance blogs on the planet and we turn them into a shorter audio podcast for you so you can listen to them on the go. If you have any ideas for authors that you'd like to see represented here on the show or some topics that you'd like to see covered, come visit oldpodcast.com and let us know. Now today, we're actually featuring a guest post from the site Good Life Zen. That is not a site that I've read uh, from here on this show before, but it is regularly featured on our brother podcast, Optimal Living Daily. Usually the articles on Good Life Zen cover a personal development, but Justin happened to come across this one and thought it would be good for this show. So with that, Let's get to the post and start optimizing your life. How to Find Meaning in Tough Times by Kent Thune with goodlifezen.com Why is this happening to me? When will this end? Have you ever asked yourselves questions like these? Are you asking them now? If so, do you give yourself an answer? Quote, Ultimately, man should not ask what the meaning of his life is, but rather he must recognize that it is he who is asked. Viktor Frankl. Being a financial advisor by trade, I'm hearing many questions now about the cause of the global economic crisis. Why did this happen? When will it end? How can I ever recover from this? Rather than searching for a cause of a particular challenge you are facing, and rather than dwelling on how it has impacted you negatively, Try resisting the desire to find answers outside of yourself and ask yourself the questions. Another quote from Viktor Frankl. In some way, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning, such as the meaning of a sacrifice. Not only should you ask yourself the questions, but you may help yourself more by framing questions in such a way that may inspire an answer from within yourself. I'll use personal finance and investing as examples, but the framework fits any particular problem or challenge that may be causing some degree of suffering for you at this time. Attach meaning to your suffering. Ask yourself, how can I make this negative event meaningful? Attaching meaning to suffering is a wonderful and therapeutic tool for moving beyond negative events in your life. In context of personal finance, perhaps you have lost a job or the value of your investments has been cut in half. Perhaps the job loss or decline in investment value is providing a life-changing lesson that money has become too high of a priority for you. Suffering as a sacrifice. Ask yourself, what would I sacrifice for this loss? In context of personal finance, you might ask yourself, if I could find true meaning and long-term contentment in my life, would I sacrifice material wealth to obtain that meaning and contentment? Perhaps your financial loss has given you the opportunity to answer this question for yourself. Perhaps financial pursuits limited your meaningful pursuits. Could money and your pursuit of it become the sacrifice for finding true meaning and purpose in your life? Viktor Frankl also wrote, when we are no longer able to change a situation, we are challenged to change ourselves. Change from within. Ask yourself, do I have a choice? Suffering or mourning a loss can have its own therapeutic value. However, the event that caused the suffering becomes meaningless and your suffering will continue without the awareness of your choice to move beyond the suffering, to change yourself. Similar events occurring in the future will also cause more suffering without learning this lesson. For example, it is a common misconception that the outside event beyond one's control, such as the global financial crisis, must end before one's suffering can end. This is not true. One's suffering ends when one decides it will end. It is not the event that must change, it is your perception of it and your attitude toward it. Start over. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Life is full of second chances and often a shock or dramatic event is necessary to change your path for the better. Suffering is your opportunity to grow and move beyond the negativity, to survive, to become a better person. Quote, ever more people today have the means to live but no meaning to live for. Viktor Frankl. And you may have noticed that all of the supporting quotes in this post are from Viktor Frankl, author of the tremendously inspiring book, Man's Search for Meaning, which has sold over 10 million copies in 24 languages and has been called one of the 10 most influential books of all time. Frankl was a Holocaust survivor who would later become known for his brand of psychotherapy called logotherapy, which is based upon the attachment of meaning to suffering. Frankl observed in the concentration camps that those who could find some meaning and purpose to live, even in the most horrific and hopeless of circumstances, 
had a vastly higher survival rate than those who had understandably lost all hope or any reason to live. Go back and read Frankel's quotes in this post again. Do they have more impact for you knowing that the author of the quotes is a survivor of the Holocaust? A person who would become a successful psychotherapist and a profoundly influential author? Do you believe if he can survive tremendous tragedy that you can survive yours? What's more, the world needs you and what you have to offer. What if Viktor Frankl had given up hope and died in the concentration camps? You just listened to the post titled How to Find Meaning in Tough Times by Kent Thune with GoodLifeZen.com. And once again, that's a guest author on the site and Justin usually reads posts from Good Life Zen over on Optimal Living Daily. So if you want to hear more from there or posts from more minimalist and personal development authors, you can subscribe to that show too. But he's about to pop on and uh, mention his podcast. So I'll leave it there for today. Tomorrow, we'll be hearing from Mr. Money Mustache about quitting your job. I'll see you there in the Wednesday show where your optimal life awaits. Hello, Life Optimizer. This is Justin Mollick, creator and producer of this podcast, but also Optimal Living Daily, the show where I read to you from even more blogs covering finance, productivity, minimalism, personal development, and more from incredible bloggers like Derek Sivers, Zen Habits, Mark and Angel, The Minimalists, and all the ones you hear on this show too. So if you enjoyed today's episode and like taking amazing blogs on the go, come on over to Optimal Living Daily and subscribe to that one too. And together, we'll start optimizing your life. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.